Welcome back. This is Joe and Janet with Grow Shop. As we continue our discussion of gear motor basics, we're looking at our three reducer types. In this video, we'll be diving into planetary gears, the second of our inline style gearboxes. Planetary reducers are ideal for applications requiring high torque in a small package and an output shaft with coaxial alignment. These gearboxes are used in a wide variety of industries such as commercial, medical, and agricultural applications. Here we have the basic parts of a planetary reducer. Planet gears are arranged and rotate around a central sun gear. The planet gears also mesh with an internally toothed ring gear that encompasses the entire set. Both the planet and sun gears in our planetary gearbox are spur style gears, while the ring gear is integrated into the housing. Planetary gearboxes provide high torque in a compact package. By sharing the load between several planet gears, it allows the reducer to handle the same torque that a larger parallel shaft reducer handles. They are highly efficient with a single stage's efficiency rate at 95% and ratios as high as 11 to 1. Whereas, it is difficult to achieve ratios much higher than 5 to 1 in a single parallel shaft stage. Like parallel shaft gearboxes, planetaries have a maximum input speed of 4,000 RPM, but can be designed for higher speeds. Our planetary reducers are available in 18 ratios, starting with 5 to 1 all the way up to 1,000 to 1. Another benefit to consider with the planetary gearbox is their resistance to elastic deformation. Elastic deformation in reducers is the slight change in shape of the gears due to stress. And while the shape is recoverable after the stress is removed, the design of the planetary gearbox minimizes the deformation. The sun gear contacting multiple planet gears gives it a torsional stiffness three times greater than that of a parallel shaft reducer. Finally, the coaxial alignment requires no output shaft offset and a rotational direction that matches the motor removes the need for an idler gear, as in a parallel shaft gearbox. The weaknesses of the planetary are minimal when compared with the strengths we just shared. Due to its size, these reducers have low heat dissipation, so are best used in intermittent duty application. And it needs a holding brake as it back drives at all ratios. The gearbox can get very long due to the high ratio of length to diameter when using multiple stages. And because more gears are required for a given ratio, planetary gearboxes cost more than the same sized parallel shaft reducers, but will have more load capacity within those matching sizes. Here we have the usual minimum and maximum efficiency curves of the planetary reducer. The planetary efficiency curve is flatter than the parallel shaft and right angle curves, meaning that the planetary's efficiency is the most consistent across all ratios. Also, unlike the other gearbox's curves, the minimum and maximum curves of the planetary reducer move closer together as the ratio increases. Stay with us as we continue our series on gear motor basics. We'll be finishing our discussion of reducer types by looking at right angle gearboxes. For more information about Grow Shop, planetary gearboxes, or planetary gear motors, check out our website at www.growshop.com.